Hi and welcome to the second update of my master's thesis game. In the past two weeks I focused on polishing the game for the tests needed for my thesis, as well as implementing some new features and massively changing the way enemies behave. If you haven't seen the previous two videos where I show a timeline of the project in one video and an update of the game on the second one, consider doing so, links are in the description. Let's start going through the changes on the current version. Main menu, credits and win screen were added to the game. The control scheme is now laid out in the first room. A new cursor was added, the font of all the game is now coherent with the art style and the Christmas balls are now yellow since the visibility of the previous ones was not great. Additionally, the bullet image of a weapon turns red when the weapon has no bullets available and the change was not noticeable previously. There are now triggers outside the rooms that detect if the weapon left the room and if this happens, the weapon is spawned back in the room to ensure the player doesn't lose the weapon. When a player enters a room without a weapon, an empty weapon now spawns in the room so that the player isn't forced to die if he forgets to bring a weapon onto the next room. The bullets fired by an enemy that dies are no longer suddenly disappearing. One of the two big updates in this version was the way enemies attack. Instead of a very limiting amount of parameters that would make enemies different than I had before, I created a script that takes a list of arguments that affect the overall shooting pattern of the enemies. This way, every enemy has a different shooting pattern, making the game a lot more challenging and interesting than it was before. Invisibility frames were given to the player. Enemies can now drop bullets when they die. These bullets can either be picked up by walking towards them while holding a gun or by throwing the gun at them. The other big update of this version is the addition of a shield. After progressing through a few rooms of the dungeon, the player will unlock a shield that will be generated all around the player for a few seconds after the player activated it, and it will absorb all the bullets that hit him, protecting the player. To make this mechanic more interesting, I decided that after the shield is depleted, all bullets absorbed would turn into a bullet drop for the player. If the player is holding a weapon, the bullets are automatically picked up by that weapon. If the player doesn't have a weapon, the bullets are left on the ground for the player to pick when he has a weapon. After the shield is depleted, it needs to be charged so that it can be used again. To do this, the player damages enemies. When the shield is ready to be used, the bar will blink and a sound is played. Finally, when the player clears the room, the marks on the wall now fire a particle effect as visual reinforcement of the progress the player is making through the dungeon. All of this combined, and this is how the game looks like now.